Good morning and welcome back to the garden. Lovely summer day today, but my goodness we've had some rain. <laughs> now, we have actually lifted the onions and I'll put the clip in because it rained before I lifted them and it was torrential afterwards. Once I got them in this greenhouse, we had torrential. But I did get them in and I've put them on a Dutch trolley to dry, but I'll show you that in a moment. Now I've been down this morning because the weather is on our side today, the rain stopped and I've started to lift the onions. The ground is so wet I just can't keep them in there no more. I've had one or two split and a few with mouldy bottoms but the, what you see is really what we've got now I've just left them on I've got 10 more still to lift but I've left them on the top to dry them a bit before I take them into the greenhouse and put them on the Dutch trolley shelves to dry out a little bit looking at the weather I will have to get all that done this afternoon that one's split and then it's gone completely mouldy We've got quite a few of that. Well, hang on. We got about seven like that. Some are just some. I just got the mould around the bottom, but I can't keep that. It would go rotten. Now I get them sorted and get them on those shelves, and you'll see them on the next video, hopefully drying out. And the sun's come out which will help with the drying so I'm well pleased with that. We couldn't have left them any longer. There was a few rotten as you'll see in the, the clip but not too bad and they were good size so I'm quite pleased overall with the onion crop. Just got to dry it and string it now. As you can see the, the peppers, especially the yellow ones, I'll write in now, so picking those in a short while. And today I want to, I'll show the onions and then I want to summer prune the apple tree. With all this rain, good weather they've had for growing, we've put on quite a bit of growth. But if I leave them, the apples will be obviously out of reach for us. This is the trolley that I've put the onions on once it was lifted. There's just along the edge of the shelves and leaving the tops over. And what I do is I open both doors and then there's plenty of air passing through them to dry them. It'll take a day or two, but as you can see, there's a lot of them. They're on the way now, so it won't take long. Some are a good size and some are the better size for stringing but we've got them all now but they're all early we've got them out that's the main thing and then we can have the stringing up later on the other thing I want to do today I want to pick some tomatoes but I must get this apple tree pruned so we'll pick the tomatoes and then we'll prune the apple tree and Let's hope the weather holds. Now, as you can see, there's quite a few tomatoes harvest. We just haven't been able to get down here to get them with the weather. And as you can see, the crimson crush are all reddening up now, so we do need to, to get them picked. Now, I'm down here every morning. I check the tomatoes for blight there's a lot of blight about now all this damp warm weather now I know the crimson crush are fine so I have to come and keep my eye on all the others up to now touch wood we're okay the potatoes the same as these go down every morning check them and they're okay 
But I think what's protecting you is this wind. We've got a good wind going through the crop, which is drying them a bit. So every time it gets wet, they are at least drying. And that's the, if they get dry again, they seem to be okay. The other reason we need to pick is because if we don't pick them, as you can see, the pigeons will. They've had a good go at that one. I'll just pick a few to show you how easy they are to pick. These are the sun gold and there they are. Very nice. I should put these in this little basket and I'll pick them and then show you what sort of crop we've got off them. While, while I pick these uh, sun goals, I'll get Diane to pick the crimson crush and then it'll save time. These are the tomatoes we've picked, quite a few and there's still quite a few still to come. Now we've come down to the apple tree and this year's been a disaster for our fruit trees. The, no plums, no cherries. The other cherries got none on it. And the apple is very, very sparse. Usually this tree is absolutely laden with apples, but there's hardly any on it at all. So whether it's that weather that we had we didn't have a proper winter and then there was hot days, cold days, whether that slowed them down. But what I noticed though, the amount of rain we've had, they've put on massive growth. But as you can see, we don't want to leave that because I don't want apples that far up because we won't be able to harvest them. So we'll take these off and then back to a fruiting spare, except for the top, which I can't really see what where I'm cutting up there, just with the long handle pruner. It'll grow from this year. So I just cut it back to one node past the old wood there, look. So that one, I'll just cut it there like that. And then there's all that to do, so it's quite a bit to do. I'll do a little with you and then we'll do it. Look at this one, and that's totally new growth, fresh growth. That was strange. Simple, look. Can you see the old growth there, look? The dark coloured wood, and then it goes to the new growth. So I just go past that, take a piece off. Slowly pruning it this way, the tree does get bigger and bigger. But as long as we can keep the top down, we don't mind. It doesn't matter if it gets a bit wider, but I just don't want it up there, so the fruit will just fall off. We'll do a few here, and then we'll get the long handles on. You'll soon, if you're doing it quite a bit, you'll soon see where that new growth is and where the old growth is and you just snip it off. This one has to take off right at the bottom anyway. Like that. That's very fresh. Again here, look. The top, I use this long handle pruner, and if, if you're looking, you can see where the colour changes, and I just cut it above it. Obviously, at the sides, I can see, but when I'm on the top, you can see. Uh, 
That's how I do it until I'm completely over the tree. Now it's going to take some time so I'll do it and then I'll show you the finished tree. Now there you are that's our apple tree pruned, summer prune remember summer prune. Now I've summer pruned the apple tree now the, the saying is summer prune for fruit winter prune for shape so if you prune it now and take all this new growth off back down to where there's going to be a fruiting spur then next year that's where you bear your fruit then you'll get more fruit if you've got stone fruit which your plums and your cherries etc which you actually prune in the summer do be aware that we're getting all this rain and if it's going to rain don't prune it wait till we've got a nice sunny day whenever and prune it then so the wind can dry off where you've done cut and then if it does rain the silver leaf virus which comes down with the rain will not enter your tree if it gets in your tree it'll probably kill it now that's it for this week as you can see it's quite windy but we don't mind this bit of wind this it's a dry wind and it's blowing through the potato tops and it's actually drying them out and I've just stood on a red ant's nest and they've still knocked me up my leg and it's killing me <laughs> that'll be it for this week I'll go up now and put some cream on see you again soon everyone take care bye now